what were the personalities like in the defensive backs room that season in particular and which ones stand out to you in your mind? That season, the defensive back room was closed. If I had to use any any word, I would say closed. Charles and Nick Collins, they were the guys who I, who I hung out with off the field. Those guys were big time players. You know, when I came into the NFL, my goals was simply to make somebody team because I was an undrafted free agent. But being around those two guys, I would say it kind of forced me to get goals, to be great. And those guys were going to Pro Bowls and they was doing all these different things. And I was like, bro, I can't hang out with these dudes if I can't step up. You know what I'm saying? I can't hang out with these dudes. So once I kind of got settled into my role and saw that the team had confidence in me, uh, to play a, a particular role on a team like that, and I was playing outstanding that year. It was more of a matter of time um, before I took off. Going into the game, everybody was kind of still picking Pittsburgh to win the game, and maybe rightfully so. They were saying that we haven't been there before. When it comes to crunch time, you know, we're not going to be able to Form. Big Ben has been there before, he's won it. And that's cool, they were exactly right, but we was a different team, man. They were stacked too, especially at the re receiver position. I mean, they, they had Mike Wallace when he was the guy. They had just brought in Antonio Brown and Emmanuel Sanders, and you still had Heinz Ward, and you had Heat Miller at tight end. We were just willing to, to play whoever came to our side. And I think when guys start to get injured, then, then I begin to move around. We went in for halftime, and um, Charles was in regular clothes. He felt like he needed to, to speak to the team. You know, he was a leader. He was the guy. And he broke down in the, in the middle of him trying to talk to us. He had to say no more words. That alone, it felt like that energy was kind of transferred from him to us. We knew the adjustments that we had to make. Those guys were down. So now, Tremont, you got to go to Mike Wallace. How confident were you that you knew the route that Mike was going to try to run on that fourth down play? I knew they were going to try to get a first down. I was willing to bet on it that, you know, he was going to run to the sticks. Ben threw a, a pretty solid ball because I was going underneath to try to get the interception, but he threw the ball high. I was still able to get my hands in there and get my hand on the ball. It still took a moment to trigger that it was incomplete and that most likely this game is over. But when it triggered, that's when the emotions begin kind of flow and typically I don't show a lot of emotion when I play the game. I think that particular play I did, I had no choice. We were resilient, you know, with all the injuries that we had, we took all of those trials, those tribulations, we brought them together and we got stronger from them. That's the true build of a team. We were excited that we had to work for it. It was definitely a year to be remembered.